Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. So if you guys saw my last video where I took you on a complete walkthrough through my 5 gallon nano reef aquarium, you might have heard me talk about a new aquarium I'm setting up towards the end of that video. And that's kind of what brings us to this video today. So I have an entire build series for my new aquarium coming up very soon, but in the meantime I thought I would take you guys on a little journey to some local tide pools I have nearby. Uh, to collect some inverts for this tank. So we're kind of at the halfway point of setting up the tank, so you'll see the sneak peek of it in this video. It hopefully won't spoil the rest of the next video. But today I wanted to travel about 30 minutes away to these super cool tide pools. I've been there once, I'm hoping I have as much success this time as I did last time. There's hermit crabs, macro algae, tons of snails, tons of clams. There's some really cool stuff out there. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me today and we're gonna explore these tide pools and hopefully get some cool new critters to add to this new saltwater aquarium. Now I mentioned this later in the video, but I just wanna mention it one more time. Never take wildlife from the wild. If you cannot care for it, and if it's illegal, if you can't collect in an area, don't collect in an area. Just keep that in mind. But without further ado, let's head to these tide pools. Just like that, made it to the car. We're gonna strap in real quick. We're on the iPhone cam. Sorry if it's awful, but drive a quick 30 minutes and I'll see y'all there. So we made it, as you can see, ocean's behind me. Just gonna finish walking down there. It's low tide right now, which is awesome. That's the perfect time to check this out. And we touched sand. It's a beautiful day out today. Low tide, like I mentioned, which is perfect. Let's go see what these tide pools have to offer. So we're actually starting off pretty strong here with what looked to be some damsels swimming around here. I didn't bring a net, unfortunately, so they will likely not be coming home with us today. There's some snails around here, but it obviously gets to be a little more interesting the farther out we go. As you can see, all these little black dots, those are what I believe are periwinkle snails. You can see we have some hermit crabs and just nothing too crazy going on quite yet. But as you can see, we have a lot more to go. It's crazy when you really look in here how much of these are teeming with life, and these really aren't even that big. But we have macroalgae, we have snails, maybe even a little sea cucumber right there. Just the more you look, the more you're gonna find. As we get out a little deeper, as you can see, there's some anemones and just tons of these little snails and hermit crabs. It's insane. There's a little anemone right there. Not quite what we're looking for, but cool to see regardless. As you can see, the closer we get to the ocean, the more just little creatures there are. For example, this pocket, you can kind of see my reflection, is just full of these little anemones right here. Super sticky, definitely not the bubble tip anemones we're going for. Um, but regardless, still cool to see. There's also a ton of mussels and obviously hermit crabs and snails. And when I say mussels, I literally mean mussels on mussels on mussels. It's insane. In these deeper pockets, we definitely have more fish and seaweed and like kelpie stuff. But honestly, not as much as I had expected today. Now it might be hard for you to see, but there's actually an octopus right over here. It just was sticking its little tentacles out of the water. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to find it again, but it was right over here next to all these fish. I'll chime back in if I see it again, which I thought it was gonna be quick enough, but he who do need me. So he's in here somewhere. I finally found some clear enough water uh, to go ahead and take a up close look at some of these guys. These little fuzzy snails are creeping me out though. I don't love that. These hermit crabs are really on the run. But I think what we're looking for is just a couple pretty snails like this guy right here. Cute little margarita snails. Those are great tank cleaners and they're just everywhere here. These little baby hermit crabs are also quite fun. So we'll grab some of those just because there's a billion of them along with some of the larger ones. So along with these, what I'm gonna assume to be damsels, there seems to be a few gobies around here, but they get spooked really easy and just seeing quite possibly how many little hiding spots there are, there's no way we're ever gonna catch one of those. But regardless, it's still super cool to see them all kind of living in their natural habitat. So really, I haven't seen anything too crazy. I was hoping we would see some starfish and some urchins, but clearly not in the right spot. Okay, well, I guess I spoke too soon because I'm literally not sure whatever these things are. 
that they're alive. I think they're sea cucumbers, they might be sea slugs. I'm thinking sea slug, honestly, but they're huge. They look scary and they are most definitely alive. That's so, like, what is that? <laughs> we finally made it back home to the aquarium and I think it's time we take a look at what we ended up coming home with. Now I'm basically just gonna try to dump these guys out into this little glass container so we can take a little look. Now, as always, you want to make sure the species you're collecting, if you ever do collect, are um, not endangered. That's very important. You never want to take anything from the wild that shouldn't be taken from the wild. And here's what we ended up with. I'm going to turn the light on so you can see just a little better. That actually, I guess, didn't really help much. But as you can see, we got one pretty large hermit crab. I went ahead and grabbed that guy because he had some cool macroalgae on his shell. I also just grabbed this piece of macroalgae as well along with some margarita snails and just a couple normal hermit crabs. Now these hermit crabs do eat macroalgae um, and some coral, so they're not 100% reef safe, but for the tank they're gonna go in, that's gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys and just drop them in the tank one by one. Now I went ahead and removed the lid of the aquarium and like I mentioned, we're just gonna drop these in. There's really no need to drip acclimate inverts like this ever. And then for these last ones, I'm just gonna pour them in. There are no fish in this aquarium right now, or coral, or really anything, but that's gonna change very soon, not to worry. And as you can see, there they go. So as I mentioned, not all of these are going to be reef safe. That is just, it is what it is. Like that big hermit crab, for example, is likely not gonna be very reef safe. But all the corals that are gonna be going in here are gonna be corals that I have in abundance elsewhere, so I'm not too worried. Uh, we'll have to see though how long that macroalgae lasts. It is pretty, but I don't know what's gonna happen with it. So I'm gonna give these guys some time to settle in and we'll check back in on them very soon. And here we are again, present day for this video. Now the hermit crabs and macroalgae and snails have been chilling in the aquarium for about three, four days now, and I have some little updates for you. So the first thing is I got some rocks for the aquarium. You'll see that in the actual aquarium build video, but I did get some rocks in there. Uh, the hermit crabs can climb around, snails have been, you know, moving around it as hermit crabs and snails do. But everyone's doing really good. The big hermit crab is doing awesome. He's a super cool creature to watch walk around. Everybody's doing good. Not too much to update there, but I did figure we could go ahead and feed them. So I've just been feeding them pelleted betta fish food actually because the larger pellets sink better than the saltwater fish food I have. So I've just been throwing some of these pellets down there. The hermit crabs kind of scurry around as you can see to get them. And overall, they've honestly been doing really good. I can't wait to add some more fish and eventually coral to this aquarium. But once again, you will have to stay tuned for the aquarium build video to see that. This was just a little tidepool exploration video. While we're here though, let's actually check back in on the five gallon nano reef real quick. They could use some food as well. The two clowns are doing amazing, obviously anxiously awaiting getting into their new aquarium. Uh, these guys are still happy, healthy, and doing better than ever. But that is going to be just about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to these tide pools. A little bit of a different video than what we normally do. However, I'm so excited to keep the content flowing. New tanks, new area, so much to explore. We have some new fish store tours maybe coming soon. So let me know what you guys want me to film down below. I mean, I'm really doing this for you guys. Whatever you want to see, I will do my best to make it happen. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.